In this video, I want to talk about how I turned from a nerdy looking individual into a pretty boy. So obviously at the moment, I'm more of a rough boy. I still need to get a haircut, get ready for holiday in a few days. But if you look at both pictures, you can tell that I've transformed from a below average looking guy to someone that's way above average. And thus in this video, I want to talk about my journey. But before I do that, I do quickly want to mention something because I don't want to make this video all about myself, talk about how amazing I am about my journey because I genuinely want to help you out. And that's why I wrote a free book. It's 100% free. All you have to go is to the description and this way you can check out the Glow Up Secrets book for yourself and hopefully you can give yourself a glow up too. And with that said, Let's get started. So the first picture that I showed you, I was 13 years old. Obviously I was still in my teenage years, but I wasn't happy with myself. Not because I didn't feel like I didn't have any confidence, it was actually quite the opposite. I've always been quite a delusional guy. Even though when I didn't look like the man, I still acted like the man, I still had the confidence of the man, but it didn't feel right to me. I generally didn't like the way how people perceive me because when I looked in the mirror, I just simply saw how much potential I had and I couldn't accept living a life where I wouldn't unlock my full potential. And that's where my journey began. Because I always saw these other pretty looking individuals get amazing results where that's just simply getting away with stuff or even attracting beautiful girls. And I was like, hey, I want a piece of that. And those were my initial motives as to why I wanted to improve myself. And as I started my journey, obviously I started to take care of myself in every realm I was able to. And I started to see some results. And I remember the first time when I actually started to style my hair, it was such a big step. And I remember first time going to the classroom, I know everyone will judge you because you look a certain way. And then the next day you come to the classroom completely transformed and all eyes will be on you. And although it wasn't that big of a Deal, and it was a much bigger deal in my head than it actually was because the truth is when I entered the classroom no one cared everyone continued to live their own lives but there was this one girl that after the class came up to me I was like hey have you done anything to you I said yeah I just styled it and then she told me yeah it looks really good and that was the first time I've received compliments in years at least a compliment not from my mom and it felt really really good because I started to see some difference in the way how people perceived me in the way that people respected me and all of that was amazing. But quickly what I realized was that as I progressed and as I became more attractive, the results started to go down. Instead of receiving a lot of compliments, I barely received compliments anymore. Because two things happened. One, people just got used to me being more attractive because everyone likes the villain arc story where someone that comes from the bottom improves themselves and reaches the top. And while you're on your journey, everyone's cheering you on. But then eventually, once you reach the top, no one cares anymore. And the second thing I started to realize is that some people started to get a little bit jealous because they're seeing someone improve themselves, arguably getting way more attractive and I still had this huge confidence and that's when a lot of people started to see you as a very arrogant individual and thus if you're someone that looks very good but they think that you're an arrogant person, they don't want to give you a compliment. And when it comes to becoming more attractive and this pretty boy journey, I started to realize that initially it was all validation from the outside world. I constantly wanted to be accepted by other individuals, wanted to be accepted that they would see me as good enough or they would respect me. But then over time, once I respected myself enough, I started to realize that it all starts from within. Even though I look way better now and it does help, the most important thing is that if you're someone that can convey confidence, someone that generally respects themselves, other people will notice that as well. Because the truth is, male beauty is not as valuable as female beauty. And yes and no, as it comes with the future generations, we start to care more and more about looks. And I think it's a genuine concern when it comes to the youngsters nowadays that will only be more superficial. They only start to care more about looks, but everything is getting more competitive. It's not only your looks anymore. You also need to be more confident. You need to work out have a better personality, improve your social skills, earn more money, and the list goes on and on. So it's not only about male beauty. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because there's a lot of people out there, there's this little community called Black Pilled. These individuals generally believe that when it comes to women, looks is everything. And coming from someone that has done modeling before, someone that literally gets paid to look good, I can tell you that that's not the truth because being too good looking is also a concern. A lot of times I've had conversations with women, they're like, yeah, it's too good to be true. You're very attractive, you know how to speak. And I haven't even mentioned about my YouTube channel. I haven't even mentioned about what I do, but even by being perceived as someone that's way too good looking and someone that's amazing social skills, you can also get rejected. And yes or no, this is a better problem to have than being someone that literally gets zero attention and generally doesn't feel that attractive. But this is generally an issue that I've encountered plenty of times. And yes or no, a lot of people will say, yeah, this is a shit test. They're just trying and testing you out. 
but even if you pass this shit test, they're still super skeptical because they know you can get more kills. They know you have unlimited options and that's something that's a downside when it comes to this. If you're someone that's looking for unlimited girls and unlimited attention, yes, this will work in your favor. But if you're someone that's very attractive, you never know whether someone's with you for their looks or because they genuinely like you. It's a lot harder to build a real meaningful connection. And these are some real genuine concerns that you don't have if you're not that attractive. And literally before recording this video, I messaged one of my mates Ilka to talk about what I'm gonna talk about. And he literally just sent me a voice note and I genuinely want you to listen to it. Yeah, All right? I mean, you can talk about the misconceptions of being a pretty boy as well. Like everyone thinks it's rosy. It's, you know, you get whoever you want basically. That's not true. You and I know that's not the case. I mean, you've had girls that don't want to mess with you because they think you're too good almost. You Told know? you. So you could talk about that. I already I mean, mentioned that. When I think about black girl, I, I think about like, the, they, for what they, what they would call this like the harsh reality. So like uh, a black pill thought might be, oh, this girl doesn't want to date me because I'm this race or I'm this height, you know? That's something to touch on, I think. Because like... They genuinely believe that shit. <laughs> I'm sure you know that as well, like, because I have it in my culture, and I think you have it in your culture, where there's certain guys, like a group of guys who think that, you know, oh, this white girl won't date me because I'm this. Yeah, so, yeah, there's a few things. And yeah, I told you, it's easier said than done, because I feel like a lot of people are not trying hard enough. How many of you guys have actually gone out, give you 100%, because you haven't? If you're someone that has given you 100%, okay then cool, I can understand that you say certain things. But I genuinely believe that everyone can improve themselves. And even if you improve yourself, you need to accept the reality that you'll still get rejected. It's not all this rosy fairy tale that if you're amazing looking that you'll get everything. You still have to put in hard work. And to be quite honest, I had to put a lot of hard work to even get to a position where I look good. But the journey is never ending. And I feel like a lot of people don't want to take responsibility. A lot of people want to victim blame, want to take the easy way out. Hey, look, I'm, I'm a brown guy. I can't get a certain race, just like my mate mentioned. And that's on you because there's so many people out there in the world. Just because one certain girl doesn't like you doesn't mean that all girls of that certain race won't like you because there's plenty of people out there in the world. It all depends on the individual. And as long as you're willing to put in the effort, as long as you're someone that's willing to improve yourself, you will see results. And that actually is the mindset of a pretty boy because even if I wasn't as pretty, even if the odds were against me, even if I didn't have a genetic advantage, I would still give my 100% and I would work on things that I can work on because this is the only thing you can do. And I've never generally met someone that's given their 100% and I've started to see results. Because I know a lot of times people tell me, yeah, you're good looking, that's why you're getting results. You're good looking, that's why people are nicer to you and stuff like that. But a lot of times, I generally work twice or three times harder than them and that's why I see the results. And yes, I know, even if I look better, I might get more results. But shouldn't that piss you off? Shouldn't that make you work even harder than me? Because if you're someone that's gonna outwork me, I'm sure you'll get amazing results as well. And that's just life. You can't just focus on your looks. You can't just be one dimensional and think that looks are everything. Because what will happen is that you'll also attract one dimensional people. And if that's something that you want, people that only judge you on your looks, not even on your personality, that's fine. From what I've seen in my surroundings and what I see online, if you're someone that's multi-dimensional, not only good looking, you have amazing social skills, you work hard, you have good morals and values, people actually notice that. And I know it's super crazy to say that we're in 2023. Society is meant to be so much better. It's meant to be so much more progressive. But it definitely feels like that we've fallen back as society because we're focusing too much on superficial things. And even though it does matter, there's a lot of other compounds that matter more, in, at least in the long term. And that's why if you're someone that genuinely wants to get a glow up, I would definitely recommend you to check out the free Glow Up Secrets book. And yes, I will give you tips and tricks on how to get a glow up, but it's more detailed than that. The book will generally teach you on how to become a better person, how to become a better man. It will teach you to improve your body, your mindset, will help you with your confidence and so much more. And it's completely free. So I would definitely recommend you to check it out because the free guidance is out there for you but it really depends on you whether you're willing to take the action. And that's pretty much the end of this video. So yes, being a pretty boy is amazing. And the reason I wanted to turn into a pretty boy is because it just feels like you get more respect, people appreciate you more because beauty is something that's valuable, but at the same time, 
male beauty is not as valuable as female beauty. So you still have to put in the effort in every other realm of your human endeavor if you're someone that wants to see the best results. And that's pretty much it when it comes to this. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider to the subscribe button and leave a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate your time and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye.